This pen seems ordinary, doesn't it? But actually, it contains a slow-acting poison. I, so. I knew I knew doing this in person was a, was a, was a terrible idea. As you, uh, you may think that this fellow is done for, but in fact, I have the antidote pen. Is it also sharp and pointy? Oh, oh no. <laughs> I used to be stationed on the roof with a baseball bat. <laughs> Remember when Dad dragged that one in through the skylight? Yeah, oh, wonderful memories. Yeah. But he was used to run up a little cup of hot cocoa for me. Yeah. I used to enjoy that while I would uh, brain any, any, any robbers <laughs> coming up the other. Hi, how, how, how's everything? How's you need it? to send the kill bot. Or... No, 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 we're fine, we're fine. It's a friend. Um, how, how it's already been... moving, though, is the thing. I can unplug um, him. <laughs> yeah, could you, could you unplug him? Uh, What's that yeah. clanking I hear on the stairs? <laughs> kill. Don't <laughs> Kill. Kill. Hang on, hang on. Well, on the street, he's known just as the geezer, mm-hmm. but uh, his actual name is a uh, uh, Mr. Evan Screws. Okay. Evan the geezer Screws. <laughs> yeah, I think I see where this is going. Yes, uh, uh, have fun. Uh, don't get robbed. <laughs> well, I tell you, a few of them did try on oh. the way. You notice at this point that his hands are covered in blood. <laughs> Mm. I'm trying to program it to go down criminals' chimneys and and kill them as a sort of preemptive measure. Mm, I think that mm, that's making it a crim, and then wouldn't it then have to self-destruct? Um, what well, because it's a logical yeah. paradox. <laughs> the machine starts to self-destruct. Oh bloody hell, Lily! What have I said about introducing logical paradoxes? <laughs> Fine, all right. Have a sit down. Make yourselves. Comfortable. Well, I don't think I can. It's, it's too cold. <laughs> it is too cold. There are also no seats. <laughs> <laughs> I sit on the floor. <laughs> Chairs too expensive, are they, old man? Ah, uh, a fool and his money. <laughs> Farted, <laughs> Mister Edvard. I always say, and a fool would sit on a chair. Puppetry. A fool and his money would sit and watch a puppet show. Uh. Puppets. Puppets. What are we, babies? It's a giggle at a puppet. At this point, uh, you notice at, at the window that. Uh, 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 a cat burglar has lifted one of the windows and has just sneaked his way in. But uh, Evan spots it, swings round with uh, with his cane and just starts beating the <laughs> poor man uh, about the head. Uh, Mr. Screws gives the now unconscious form of the thief a kick. Uh, he flops out. You're on your quite a few stories up. Oh, no. A few <laughs> seconds later, you hear a kind of crump in the snow. Well. And he goes, oh, a fool and this money would come in through our window. <laughs> I happen to like dogs. Oh, Sir. I see. Animal lover, are we? Yes. <laughs> the company of your fellow man not good enough for you, Mr. Edvard. I like people and dogs. You can like two things. Ha! <laughs> he laughs at this as, as if that's the most ridiculous Prof. thing. Prof. <laughs> yeah. Into the light and brotherhood of... At which point, Mr. Screws goes, This is the one I told you about! Have him! <laughs> Kill him or whatever! I... Ghost bust him! Okay. Okay. now! Let's okay. just confer. Well, you can do it by, us, by, you do it by your own bloody selves. Uh, he says and hurries into a, into his ensuite. Right. It's not an ensuite, that's profligacy. It's a bucket in the cupboard. It's a bucket in a cupboard. I think he might have just added to the ghost population with a guy at the window. I'm a bit worried. but um... The ghost sort of floats over to the wall and puts its head through the wall <laughs> out the building. He goes, Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, he's quite a tough one. Yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. How do we get him out? <laughs> Great! No, <laughs> not a, us. There's the, a there's no. Oh, wait, there's, he's taking there's, there's, there's a, there's a... Uh, My ways are fine! There's a big... There's uh, a little fair-haired boy on the rug near the fire um, has a brown-haired, smaller boy in a headlock. <laughs> um, Edvard, perhaps you could explain what, uh, what this scene is. Get off him, Lemuel, you cad! I shout. <laughs> I get Lemuel in a headlock. <laughs> <laughs> I'm even you now, Lemuel. What, what now? I shout. Get off me, thief! Ah, not so, not so big now, are you, Lemuel? You, you little weasel. <laughs> I'm just like looking and going, okay, Edvard's got some things to work out. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it a negative consequence for me? <laughs> his blades in the dark all over <laughs> I chased the child <laughs> cool this is going roughly how I thought yeah. it would yeah. Uh, yeah did I get him says Lily <laughs> oh yeah you've got him champ I say <laughs> yeah I took a bit of a tumble there but uh my tongue feels weird yeah that'll that'll happen with no curare <laughs> Lilith make that ghost come back 
Wait, maybe we go talk to Lil Yu? Mm. No, I don't think there'll be any need for that, I say. <laughs> <laughs> like, sounded like Free Willy. <laughs> it sounds like another ghost in here. Like. It's a job for you. Not here no, to steal no. your things, just here to learn a lesson, which just... I think we've done now. Uh, at this point, uh, the, the ghost uh, sort of pops its head in. Um, it's eating a sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> Should have yeah. done something more permanent to Lemuel. Oh well. <laughs> I knew you for a cut purse as soon as I saw you. Cut purses cut everywhere. Purse. Cut everywhere, sir. Everyone with a hand in Mr. Scrooge's pocket. No, sir. You no, haven't sir. got three, any pockets, sir. Three spirits I was promised. You're wearing a flimsy nightshirt. Three spirits I was promised. It's way different than I'm right now. The nightshirt is kind of coming a little oh. loose. <laughs> kill it, kill it now, quick. I'll keep, I'll, 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 I'm distracting it. You kill it now. <laughs> Okay. Spirit, I want none of your nonsense, none of your moralising. Be gone! <laughs> it takes a big bite of a real juicy peach. <laughs> Juice flows down the bare <laughs> chest. <laughs> is, this do- <laughs> is this doing anything for you, Scrooge? <laughs> Screws, I say. <laughs> I'm not unmoved, says Scrooge. <laughs> He's starting to come around, I think. I do, I do have a heart. Spirit, you've got to send sexier and sexier spirits, ghosts each time. <laughs> and we'll finally get him. And then he pushes you with it into the arms no. of the into the arms of the, the big ghost. Oh, hello, sorry. Uh, told you. Don't mind me. I know what I think I know what this is. <laughs> Tear off Scrooge's robe in one. Right, okay, so we were all yeah, we were the motion. <laughs> uh, he does slip free of his nightshirt. He's wearing a, a sort of a small, extremely austere loincloth. <laughs> the opposing pouch. Yeah. He's as little as I do and trust me, you will make very little mess. <laughs> Get down. Okay. Um, yeah, in could 12 you... hours I'll be dead, oh. says the ghost. <laughs> <laughs> the clothes is what stayed, Mr. Edvard. Oh, good. Oh. So you're just here news. Oh, I thought, I thought Edvard would be standing there holding. Yeah. I think we all hoped. <laughs> One way or another, this guy is learning a lesson today. Yeah. I say. <laughs> Come and see the generosity of my family. No, I'll stay out here if it's all the same. I grab his wrist and I pull him in. Ah. <laughs> ah. We're having a drink. Right, L- yeah, learn a lesson, I We're say. We're going to have the warm spiced wine and you're going to enjoy it. Oh, that does it. actually sound quite good. All right, yes. I'm coming. My father also has snakes, but slightly shorter, slightly shorter hair. Sure. And like a little, little quiff of yeah. snakes. They're does like, he have snake facial magical. hair? You they're chop- magical. You chop the head off. Does he have snake body yet? You chop the <laughs> <laughs> And a little snake moustache. <laughs> Two little snakes going on there. <laughs> I'm intensely studying his trousers. You can't get close well, enough. Well, there's only one way to be sure. <laughs> <laughs> I say. For, for science. Stay away from my dad's trousers. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> seducing Mr. Capellanon. <laughs> I undo my top button. <laughs> <laughs> the good wine! The good wine! He's delighted to see you. Hey, Screws, I say, leaning in. Yeah. This is some real heartwarming family stuff. You lean over to, <laughs> you lean over to Screws, but you elbow thin air. He's already at the buffet filling his pockets. <laughs> I march over, <laughs> over and march Screws back. Ah! Make him look at the heartwarming family scene. <laughs> what am I looking at? A heartwarming family scene, man. <laughs> Screws is looking round for a large uh, receptacle. He sees, a, um, he sees a fruit bowl and holds it out to the man with the wine. Just a yeah, chap, if you will. Oh, yes, lovely. <laughs> He's greatling. <laughs> fruit bowl what, full of wine. What are you going to do with a fruit bowl full of wine? I'll uh, sell it. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't been the same without you. Oh, no. While I'm here, we can have a nice time while I'm here. I've snuck back in with screws and I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> You're at the window. Yeah. <laughs> Pressed up against it. Screws is pressed up against the glass. I'm pressing his face into the glass. Double glazing. What's this cost in (laughs) Don't knock the glass behind the glass. Did I hear someone say just for the present? uh, Hi, Mum. This is the ghost of Christmas present. This is how I got here. Uh, Fruit, fresh figs, peaches. (laughs) How open is his shirt? A little, a little more open than it was. <laughs> I shield my mother's eyes. Yeah. <laughs> She's been happily married for a long time. So. Screws, have you learned about love? No. 
<laughs> bang his head into the window again. Have you learned? No. <laughs> Learn something. <laughs> oh. I'm just imagining what's going to happen to this giant bowl of wine as we go through the vortex. <laughs> Yes. It seems like I've done my job. Yeah, well, I don't know why I don't. It seems like I've done my job. <laughs> I mean, that guy... Um, oh, it uh, seems like I've done my job. <laughs> He's holding an empty fruit bowl of, uh, of wine and you're all drenched in, uh, <laughs> in very good wine. Uh, Screws immediately starts, uh, go, goes up to you, Edvard, your coat starts ringing you know, <laughs> into the bowl. That's good stuff. You shan't be making off with it. Everyone's got his hand in Scrooge's pocket. Were he not my blood relative, why well, I've a mind to cut him off. In fact, maybe I will. Where's that? Where's that real? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it sort of points vaguely around. <laughs> I sort of. My point, I point yeah, up. I sort of move <laughs> Scrooge at, with the hand. Yeah. Oh, I no, shall no. not, sir. You will learn. Bam. A, ah. bam, letter, <laughs> bam. <laughs> this humble grave mourned by no one. Well, but this is exactly what I wanted, he says. I put it in my will. I said, no need for a large granite tomb. No, sir, no, no, it's no, not no. Not the with, point with, not with granite at the price it is. And you know they charge by the letter, the, those cut purses down at the, down the, at the point funeral home. No, thank you. Is, I said, just a simple ES the point is not do me fine. The grave itself... Uh, <laughs> Help me dig, and I'll put it back up to four coin. All right, fine. Okay. <laughs> the, meanwhile, the, the ghost of Crim's Night Yet to Come is leaning against a tall grave, smoking a cigar. <laughs> <laughs> now you have nothing, this dusty old skeleton, I say, kicking a hole in its rib cage. I gave Fred everything he could want. Small amount of money. It's not. <laughs> you see, this is all that remains for you, Screws. I say, kicking another hole in the ribcage. <laughs> this yeah. fragile old dusty skeleton, I say, booting the jaw off it. <laughs> you see this, Screws? Most people's hearts grow three sizes during Crim's night, and this is tiny and rubbish. I say, volleying it into the distance. <laughs> oh. I'm going to roll for Screws. To determine whether or not he's learned his lesson. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he face plants into his own grave. He trips, he trips into there and the coffin lid snaps. I'm very sorry. It's it's not me. And it's not my friend. Hi. It's the man I in say. the box. <laughs> but, like we <laughs> Getting very intense eyes here from, <laughs> from the death. You can't do this over Zoom. Okay. <laughs> Terrifying. Cowering there. Ah, oh, don't mind me, I am a skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> your ways. Okay, Yoda. Bend your ways. Bend your ways, Bend your ways, you will, Scrooge. Discover. The true meaning of Grim's Night, you will. <laughs> or this time next year, I will come to your home and slice you in half with my spine. <laughs> and to show you I'm serious, I'm taking your finger. Says <laughs> 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 uh, A finger wound? Not when you've learned because the truth. Because I haven't paid you yet. No. Yes. No. 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 Although you haven't paid me yet. <laughs> I see, remember, I have paid you actually. <laughs> I removed the tourniquet. <laughs> no, no, no. I too have come to consider you my best friend. <laughs> let's, I just find him, let's... I have an even better idea if you want to get not sliced in half by a big bone scythe. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. You should buy the plumpest goose in the, in the shop. He looks down at the crunched up bone meat <laughs> <of> the <laughs> You. Says, you there, boy! <laughs> is it still Crim's night? Uh, there is no sound from the crunched up thing. And uh, in the end, screws. <laughs> I <thought> he here. <laughs> it's sliced in half by a big bone side. <laughs>